All right, y'all. Today, I'm going to talk about my wrist injury and explain the process, what I have experienced, and what to expect pre and post surgery of a scaphoid lunate ligament tear. I'm currently three weeks post surgery, but what happened was I was helping a friend move, and I went to go grab one of the big old computer chairs and like swung it over my head to carry it up the steps. When I did that, the bottom with the let the wheels were like twisted and it twisted my wrist in a weird position as soon as that happened that's like when the ligament torn um i kept feeling my bones shift in out of place so that evening i decided to go get it checked out i went to urgent care when i went to urgent care i told them that i kept feeling the bone shift like move in and out of place and stuff and they took x-rays and they just said it was a uh, like sprain um to let it rest like let it heal give it time put ice on it and all that so i did that that happened at the end of october and end of december come it, my wrist was still like injured and I still couldn't use it or bend it or anything so i decided to schedule another appointment with the actual doctor and when i went to him he basically he took x-rays and he said that my scaphoid and lunate bone was like sh my scaphoid bone shifted away from my lunate bone and i had a scapho lunate dissociation um so he referred me to a wrist surgeon the wrist surgeon looked at my x-ray that he took and she got me scheduled for MRI within two weeks, I think. So I get the MRI done and I go back to the wrist surgeon. The wrist surgeon looks at it and she said, yeah, the ligament's completely torn. Um, the MRI showed that there's a 1.1 centimeter shift in my scaphoid bone with a dorsal tilt. Um, so once I did figure that out, I was I had to get surgery. So after I talked to the wrist surgeon that day, I also got my appointment for surgery scheduled that same week. And yeah, because I went to the appointment like on a Monday, scheduled my surgery for that Friday. But during like pre-op for surgery, they did a nerve block in my shoulder, which basically deadens. <clears throat> that is your arm and then they like provide you with anesthesia what they did is they made an incision in my wrist they went down about three inches on my forearm and they had to pull a tendon out my forearm and use it like as a graph so they use a ECRB graph to basically reconstruct my ligament um yeah, I'll show you what they did. So, uh, during surgery, they drew up, they used two joist, like two guide wires as joysticks to put the scaphoid bone back in place with the lunate bone. Once they did that, they drilled three holes. One in my lunate bone, the center of the lunate bone. One on the proximal side of the scaphoid bone. One on the distal side. <clears throat> So after drilling them three holes, they hold in the lunate bone and insert it there. Once the graft was inserted there and it was in place, they ran it all the way to the proximal hole on a scaphoid bone insert it there once they inserted the like graft they use they basically cut the remaining part so it's flush and after they did that they inserted a pin through my scaphoid bone all the way through my capitate bone and this pin is to hold the scaphoid bone in place while basically it heals the pen takes about, they said the pen takes six to eight weeks um, before they pull it. So after about six to eight weeks, they pull it. 
you're, you start working on your wrist mobility. But while you wait on it to heal, and they're going to ask you, like, basically put some, like, cocoa butter on your scar and, like, massage it in two to three times a day. And they, they do make, a, like, a, a brace um, for you. They give you a brace so you can keep your, like, wrists protected so you don't undo what they just did. And you're supposed to wear that. Also, once they pull the pin out, which I heard when they pull it out, you're awake for. I'm looking forward to seeing that, see how that goes. But once they pull the pin out, that's when you'll start working on, like I said, the wrist mobility. And what I was informed is I would never gain full range of motion in my left wrist compared to my right wrist. But who's, who knows? Let's see what I can achieve. And I will also keep y'all updated with like a part two once I start like my wrist mobility, let y'all know how it's going. But basically this was to explain the scaphoid lunate ligament tear and what to expect like pre-surgery or post-surgery before you start working on wrist mobility. And thank you for watching.